hello hello and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be doing a uh, cash envelope stuffing cash sinking funds stuffing and um, setting up some bills uh, in cube money's bill pay so let's go ahead and get our tombow so we can highlight the things that um, need to be transferred from our um, like our main account to our to Q money where we have our cash envelope sinking funds and um, we're transitioning all of our um, bills from our from um, our chase bill paying account to Q money so um, I tested a couple, like I tested the Q money bill pay function in paycheck number one. So, um, it's been going pretty good. So I'm going to set up more bills on Q money's bill pay feature. And that's what these items that are starred are for. So we're going to do, um, child care. We're going to, uh, transfer over water and trash, electric, um, our MetLife bill, Verizon, and ID theft is what we're going to um, set up with Q Money bill pay this time around. And then for our uh, cash envelope stuffing, we're going to do gas, groceries, Costco, diapers and wipes, uh, car repair maintenance, house supplies, clothing, toiletries, fun slash holidays, the twins, and this money right here is already in our sinking fund. So I'm just saying that um, if we need it, I'm going to use $50 from our sinking funds to um, help pay for any activities that we do for um, my husband and I's anniversary. And then this epidemic sound is a business expense and that comes out of um, my business account. So let's go ahead and add up all of the highlighted items so that um, I can figure out how much money needs to be in our cube cloud account in order to allocate it amongst these different, um, categories. So, and if anyone is wondering, I'm not doing my husband's life insurance, like I'm not doing certain ones, um, just in case something happens with cube money bill pay feature. Um, these items that are highlighted or I'm switching over, um, are items that if something goes wrong with Q money's bill pay, then it's not serious consequences. So after I move these items over, the only other things that I have to move over for the month of October, because I'll be fairly confident in Q money's bill pay, um, feature is our mortgage, our car loan, my life insurance, and my husband's life insurance. So that is what will be left after I move over these items. But like I was saying, let's go ahead and add up all of the gray highlighted to make sure we have the right amount in our cube money account or cloud account. All right, so we should have $2,023.14 in our cube cloud account. So I am going to pull up cube money on the screen right now so you guys can follow along with the digital cash stuffing. Okay, so as you can see, the, cl the cube cloud account, uh, the amount is actually zero, so and that's because I did not transfer the money from our bill paying account to Q money and the transfer takes like two days or so. So, but I want to get uh, this video over and done with. So I'm going to see, um, well, that sucks. I don't have an account that has all of the money or all of the money that I need for this cash stuffing in it. So, so I'm going to have to pull it from two accounts. So what I'm going to do is take it from the metal medical account. So I'm going to transfer it to the cloud account. I'm going to transfer 1500. 
was today? The 13th? And then I'm going to take the remaining that we need from the uh, twins cube account. And again, that's only because I didn't transfer the money before this video, but I want to get it over with. So once I transfer the money from our uh, main account to cube, I'm going to put this money right back into twins and medical. So no worries there. Um, like I said, we already have the money. It's just in another account that's going to take a couple of days to transfer so we're going to do 5 23 spot 14. okay so that is moved out into the uh, cloud account all right, so we're going to go to the planning page and now we have 2023 uh, spot 14. So now I'm going to go ahead and stuff all of the um, items that I highlighted in gray. So we are going to do, well, since the twins is already right there, seems counterproductive since I just took out a bunch of money, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down since there are quite there are quite a few this time. So I'm gonna track it on my expense tracker to make sure that uh, I stuff everything. So 48.24 for the twins. Daycare is getting 5.60. Um, groceries is getting $80. Gas is getting $360. Diapers is getting 40 Costco is getting two twenty three. Clothing is getting twenty. We're not doing home repair maintenance. Toiletries is getting 10. Car repair maintenance is getting 25. House supplies is getting 40. Uh, fun slash birthdays is getting 10. <laughs> okay, so that leaves the items that I starred because I didn't create uh, bill cubes for those. So let me go ahead and fund these cubes first. So I did that and let me go over to the bill paying. So let me go ahead and set up these, um, set up some bill cubes for these items and then I'll be right back.
All right, so as you can see, the bills, uh, the bill cubes are created. There goes electric, MetLife, water and trash, Verizon, and ID theft, which say they're all awaiting their first payment, which is good. So let me go back to the planning screen and continue uh, stuffing these bill cubes. So water and trash is going to get 122. Okay, and then electric is going to get 15. Uh, MetLife is going to get 333.28. Um, Actually, I'm going to put 334 because if I don't, then um, I'll have some some money left over. So let me actually change that to 334. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it actually on the paper as the exact amount, because that's going to be the actual that comes out. Um, but in cube money, I'm going to keep it as 334. So I won't have any money left in the cube account. So I'm going to do the same thing for Verizon. So Verizon is going to get 123. And all that means is that I'm just going to have some uh, money left over in the Verizon and MetLife bill paying cube once these bills are paid. And then at that point, I could just transfer over whatever's left in there to our sinking funds account to be allocated at the end of the month. So it's not a huge deal. Or I could just leave it in the bill paying account and then just like let it accumulate whatever floats my boat at the time. Um, I'll let you guys know in future videos, but. Verizon gets 123. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that the cube cloud account is zero once I'm done with this planning page. So ID theft is getting 1290. Okay, so the cube cloud amount and the adding amount is the exact same, which means that I did go ahead and allocate um, all of the money in the uh, cube cloud account. So go ahead and press fund cubes. So now um, that cube cloud account is zero, which means that everything that was highlighted gray has been funded. So now I can just go ahead and wait for the bills to be paid. And then the money is already available for um, us to spend in these um, cash envelopes and sinking funds. So in case we need anything. So that is pretty much all that I do. I don't track every single um, expense that or every, sing every single thing that we buy out of our cash envelopes and sinking funds just because I let cube money do that. So what I do track over here is money that comes out of this uh, this paycheck or out of the pay yourself first. So that's what I track over here. I don't track what's coming out of the cash envelopes and sinking funds because that's what Q money is for. So once I go ahead and transfer the money from our main bill paying account to Q money, I'll go ahead and like put the variances as like zero for the items that I know are going to be exact. And then I'm going to wait for the bills to come out in order to put like a little dash, which lets me know that they're paid. So, um, yeah, that's all that I need to do for this cash stuffing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if it feels right. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.